Have you ever wished you could access every major AI model in one place? GPT-4 Ode, Gemini 2.5, Claude 3.7, Midjourney, Llama, Grok, and even Runway. All under one roof? Well, that all-in-one platform exists, and I'm about to show you. Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. In this video, I'll walk you through Global GPT incredibly powerful and convenient tool that gives you direct access to the top AI models on the market today. Whether you're generating content, comparing model outputs, or even creating a complete AI video with visuals, scripts, and graphics using GPT-40, Flux, and Runway. No camera, no filming, and no tab switching. Everything happens right here in one place. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Ok, let's dive in and see what Global GPT can really do. Global GPT In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most convenient platforms that brings together all the top AI models into a single interface. And that's Global GPT. Here you can work with all kinds of open AI models. The latest versions of Gemini, Llama, Grok, DeepSeek, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, Runway, and many many more. You name it. It's here, all gathered in one place. Let's start by testing some of the most popular models. For example, we'll take Gemini 2.5 Pro and ask it to give us three viral YouTube video ideas for a tech channel in 2025. It processes the task pretty fast. And here are three suggestions for the channel. Now, just for comparison, let's give the same prompt to ChatGPT 4.0 and see how it handles it. It also generates the response quickly. Finally, let's give Claude 3.7 Sonnet the same prompt. These are some of the most advanced and talked about models today, so it'll be interesting to compare their outputs side by side. Let's break down the responses. Claude 3.7 Sonnet Pros It highlights deep tech trends like brain-computer interfaces, zero-carbon smart homes, and more. It offers rich detail, explaining how each piece of content could look, even touching on ethical questions and system monitoring. The focus is clearly on tech-savvy users, so it's a great fit for professionals and advanced creators. Cons. I would say the video titles don't really follow a YouTube-style format. They feel more like scientific article headlines. There is no reference to platforms or interactive interfaces and the ideas might be a bit too complex for a general audience. Now let's check out GPT-4O's response. Pros The structure is super clear. Ideas are listed neatly. It mentions integration with other tools like ChatGPT and BART. And it highlights trending topics like AI models in 2025. There's a wide range of content types here. From productivity to gadgets to home automation making it ideal for broad audiences. Cons I would say the ideas don't go very deep. They are a bit superficial and lack unique angles or specific technologies or brand mentions. But considering the prompt, I'd say it handled the task really well. Next is Gemini 2.5 Pro. Pros The video titles are formatted like real viral YouTube videos. That's a big plus. They are emotionally engaging too using words like terrifying that hook the viewer. Each idea includes a plot breakdown, touches on values, humor, fails, long-term impact, and really emphasizes the human experience. Cons The descriptions are maybe a bit too long and could lose the viewer's attention. It also doesn't mention any AI platforms or interactive features, which is something we are focusing on. And there are a few awkward words or small errors in the text. So, in this case, I'd say GPT-40 takes the win. And if you keep giving it follow-up prompts, you can easily expand on its suggestions. Now, let's check out some of the visual generation tools, specifically Midjourney v7. Here's the prompt I'll use. A futuristic YouTube channel banner with cyberpunk colors and digital glitch effects. We'll set the image ratio to 1 to 1 though you can choose any ratio you like. You can also select a specific style. In this case, we'll go with Cyberpunk. 
Then you can define the viewpoint, lighting, image quality, and artistic level. For the model version, I'll use Midjourney 7, the latest. Then we have CW, character weight, which lets you decide how much the character's look stays the same in different versions of the image. Sref is your style reference. You can upload an image or provide a URL to match the look. Cref is content reference. You upload an image and the model will pay attention to the content. You can even upload a face, a pose or any key detail you want to preserve. Let's generate the image. As you can see, the generation is in progress and the results are coming in. Midjourney outputs four different versions and they all look amazing. These are high-quality YouTube banner concepts that clearly reflect the prompt. And I think we'll go with this one. And now, let's see how you can create a fully AI-generated video, complete with visuals, script and graphics in just a few clicks. No camera, no filming and no switching between platforms. Everything happens in one place. Because once again, we are using Global GPT. For this, we'll be using the OpenAI's 4.0 model Flux and Runway. We'll start with the 4.0. I give it a simple prompt. Give me a cinematic summary of the future of AI content creation. And here's what it returns. A complete set of scenes with titles and detailed descriptions. For the next step, we can highlight the key phrases and scene descriptions that we want to visualize. Now let's jump into Flux. We take one of the scene descriptions and paste it in. Then we click Optimize prompt for Flux to fine-tune it for the platform. This step adjusts everything to match Flux's rendering style. We'll leave the resolution settings as they are. Select the Flux dev model and start generating. Here's the result. It looks fantastic. Now it's time to bring the text to life as a real video. For that, we move over to Runway. Here, we upload the image we generated and provide a detailed explanation of what we want to see in motion. You can tweak the model, duration, seed, resolution, then just hit Generate Video. And here's the final output. It's honestly quite impressive. Now you have everything you need to turn this into a full YouTube video or content for any other social media platform. With Global GPT, you can get started right away. No prepayment, no limitations, no barriers. Everything you need is in one place. Final thoughts. Let's wrap it up. Global GPT isn't just another AI tool. It's a game changer for anyone who wants to compare, create or explore. With the most advanced AI models out there. Whether you're crafting YouTube content, generating cinematic scenes with GPT-4.0, turning ideas into visuals with Flux, or animating them into full videos with Runway, this platform makes the entire process seamless. The ability to test prompts across models, build media-rich content without a camera, and use tools like Midjourney or style references for image generation. All in one place makes Global GPT an incredibly powerful creative assistant. If you are serious about working with AI in 2025, this is definitely a platform you'll want to keep in your toolkit. If you're excited to try it out, or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below, I'd love to hear your experiences. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.